right, hello, hello. Let's see if I can get some light here. Get signed up here. Hey, Alex, so I see you there. What's up? What's going on? <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing good. Doing good. Um, yes, I need yeah, to I was, that. You know, I did this live. This is like my second live that I that I did actually. I, I did this with my my uncle um, last week. And we he's just, uh, he's into like life insurance and stuff. So we just talk about finances and stuff. And I kind of caught the bug, and I was like, yeah. I should do this more often. So. Yeah, it's cool. I watched a friend, another musician friend doing this live and she had, she had like multiple people come on. I was like, this is a new, I just don't know how Instagram works at all. I'm yeah. useless with yeah. social media. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of useless. But, I'm, I'm getting better. I'm getting better. But Yeah, no, this is great. Yeah, so I, I yeah, I just wanted to, you know, start talking to the like to the people that I've met and known you know, through, uh, throughout, you know, my whole music career and like, just not only music, but just like art and, and photography and, and fashion and stuff yeah. and just see how everyone's doing. And this is kind of a crazy time. Yeah. Yeah. It's wild. Yeah. <laughs> and you're, you're in Northern California, right? Northern California. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How about, where are you, where are you? I was in new york so my husband and i decided to like pop down and visit my parents and mm -hmm. leave the city for a little bit mm -hmm. um so we're in arkansas now where i'm from um but but new york city where we is where we live oh nice on the norm yes so we were in the little the little epicenter there of the covid oh yeah that's yeah that's crazy i'm glad it's nice that you got out when you did it was, uh... Yeah, yeah, we're, it definitely took our stress levels down a little mm -hmm. bit to just kind of distance ourselves, but yeah, so we've been what quarantining is... here <laughs> so that we don't make anyone else sick. And, yeah, what, but... what is the biggest difference that you realize, like, going back home from New York, like, is there, obviously, New York and Arkansas is totally different but is, is there anything like small that you miss or 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 even like terminology or anything like that that you're just like damn about new york or new york. yeah um you know it's funny because i've been missing home mm -hmm. being in new york I've, we we hadn't been home since last june so it's been it, it was a minute and I was super excited to come down. And I, I'm really, really happy to be here. Um, but I think I, I think I was finally maybe starting to get into my New York groove again. Mm -hmm. um, and, and also just like, it really, really sucks. So like it was starting to warm up and like spring and summer and New York is really fun. So I think, mm -hmm. I don't know if there's anything right now that I miss because like right like at this point we were kind of just stuck in our apartment and we had bought bikes mm -hmm. to go like bike riding um but you know like everyone there is really well I guess hopefully for the most part people are just trying to stay indoors as much as possible and you know being here we're we have the space to move around and not be like if you go to a park in the city everyone's at the park so it's not really yeah. like they have they have cops there like making sure that large parties aren't hanging out together at the park um but here there's just so much more space to where we can actually just kind of do whatever be a little bit more in nature yeah yeah but um but i do miss my apartment like i miss my home like that's what i've kind of you know built for my home so yeah. and my piano i left my piano there and i don't have it oh. here oh no so that that's a bummer. I miss, I miss that now, but yeah. What about you? How has it been for you there? 
Um, it's, I mean, it's pretty, it's weird because last October we kind of had the fires up here and then mm. we, we, we just like, all right, that's kind of cool. And then, uh, not cool, but whatever. It's the second time I experienced like the fires up here. So the second time I was way more prepared. And then okay. to a point where I was like, all right, this is, seems like it's going to be a yearly, yearly thing. So let me just get prepared for it now, unfortunately. But, and then this thing happened. It's just, it's, it sucks. Like, I feel sad, like bad about everybody, like, you know, in a situation, but like, I've gotten so much stuff done that uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's just super, super crazy. But I used yeah. to live in um, New Jersey and um mm. coming to the west coast and it was funny actually now that i think about it um w during the fires the last time they i there was like everything was closed but there was like a uh, a pizza place over there and so i called them up and i was just like hey can i get a pie and you know they're like a what i was like a, a pie like and they're like like you don't want any marinara sauce or the hell like, is that <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I was like, what the hell? And we were going back and forth for like five minutes and my wife just like in the background just dying laughing. And I was just like, they don't understand what pie means. I was like, who doesn't know what that's pie so is? I want a pie. But <laughs> that's the only really that's major funny. thing I missed about the East. I miss, you have it, Art. I, I was thinking about what I miss over the East Coast, actually. I was thinking about um, fireflies mm -hmm. and thunderstorms. They don't have it here, which is weird what yeah you don't have thunderstorms on the west coast no thunderstorms. <gasps> oh i see i'm wanting to i'm wanting to go out to the west mm -hmm. i really really want to explore more of the west coast and like just the different like all the way up from you know the pacific northwest down mm -hmm. but no thunderstorms that's no. bogus yeah <laughs> what? and i did and no fireflies yeah, it was like six months in. I was like, I haven't, there wasn't been any rainstorms or any thunder or anything. And I, it's just weird to me. So, so did you grow up on the East Coast? Yeah, I, I, I oh. was born in um, New York. And then when I was like four or five, and then I moved down to, to New Jersey. And then mm -hmm. uh, I, I lived in New Jersey until I was 22. And I moved to move. Oh, down. okay here so it's been oh, so about eight years i've time. been here for a while okay okay cool nice yeah. to know fun so oh, how's yeah, the music yeah hello how is here. um uh, we're, i'm sorry what are you saying like, oh no no it's just like you i know you perform a lot at wineries mm-hmm um so is that your is that your main job and income or do you do that like how how has that affected like your job like you know because obviously the wineries are probably closed i would assume yeah the, all the wineries are closed um i was i've been contacting a bunch of different wineries and see if we can do like a virtual kind of wine tasting and people are at home kind of drinking wine and i play and i've, I've been doing like private kind of gigs for for that's people cool. on on zoom which is absolutely which is kind of cool um, that's awesome yeah um but yeah this is kind of my my main gig now i used to work for a company we used to sell um wood and tools to um guitar builders and um oh, and mandolin cool. builders just all string instrument builders so um but yeah this is kind of my my full-time gig now but um, awesome. now it's just kind of I feel like this is going to be like a huge slingshot effect. Like as soon as the doors open, like everyone wants to, you know, come out. So I, I expect it to get, you know, super crazy. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm sure restaurants are just going to be flooded with everyone. Like, <laughs> let, yeah. Me, yeah. let me be in this environment again. Like, please. Yeah. But yeah, I just yeah. wanted, I, you know, I used to be in the, the East coast and I was playing at, at bars and playing at, coffee houses and it's just i don't know the vibe didn't kind of fit my music uh you, coffee houses a little bit more but definitely not bars it's like i'm usually more of a mellow kind of so music um mellow uh, vibe and then when i do do like 
upbeat stuff is more like jazzy r&b soul type stuff so it's more like a speak easy type of vibe i always felt for sure and then, um yeah i came over here and someone one of my friends was like oh, i got this winery gig but i can't do it can you can you uh take over and i was like yeah and then you know it, it's like word of mouth and i've been doing that ever since so that's awesome yeah. when i first saw that when i first saw that you did that i was like that's that's brilliant. Like, that's such a perfect, cause that's how I feel too. Like it's so in the city too. It's so hard to find good places to play, which is ridiculous unless you're playing at a venue, like mm -hmm. a singer songwriter can't sing in a bar unless they are like loud and like yeah. rocking and jamming, you know, yeah. but it's like, I mean, that's not going to fit my little piano singer songwriter vibe yeah, <laughs> so over like, here. I just want to sing like, love songs to you. It's just, you know. It's... Yeah, exactly. And in coffee shops, for some reason, there's not, that's not a thing mm -hmm. in the city. Like, or at least I've never seen it. I've never seen, maybe at night, if they had like, a, like night vibes. Yeah. But I've never, and so I've really struggled with that because with the venues in the city, you know, there's such a, um, such a, what's the word? Like get, I mean, getting people there. Like they obviously, the, the, the more people they know you can bring, well, first of all, you're not going to get a slot unless you're like half decent yeah. or, um, and, and then can tell like, like, Hey, like, I know I can bring this amount of people. Yeah. Um, and then it's like, but you only, you know, if you're a newbie there, you know, you might get like a bad spot where it's like, well, none of my friends can come at this time because it's, you know, during working, you know, like yeah, four o'clock on a Tuesday, work. it's like, yeah. who's available? <laughs> like, mm -hmm. um, but, but yeah. And a lot of venues that are like, that were like home, homes to singer songwriters are closing in the city, which is really terrible. Um. It's just like being bought out by Other business, things. like corp yeah. corporate sadness. It's it's so crazy. I, I remember the last time I went to go play in New York, I brought like three or four of my friends all the way. I lugged them all the way from New Jersey. We took the, the train all, all, all the way up. And then like, I guess the, the venue closed down because of the health risk but they didn't call me they didn't do anything and i'm like oh, eh, i'm done <laughs> it's uh yeah it's, yeah it's uh yeah that's that's thing. a tricky that's a yeah two of my favorite places to play one closed like a while ago but i had i had taken a break from the city for a year back in 2017 and um mm -hmm. and when i moved back it was like two months later that this other place closed that had been around in like the East Village for like ever. And it just, That's a shame. How does that just go away? That's so, yeah, it was sad. But anyway. Yeah. But yeah, that's it's, Did you it's, get the opportunity so to I, play at. I'm sorry, you're kind of breaking in and out. Oh, no, I didn't say what. Did I get the opportunity to play at what? Uh, any any places um, in Arkansas before you uh, before the quarantine happened? Have you play or played around or? So when I was living here, so when I left the city in 2017, um, I was like taking a break and was it actually because I was at the time. My producer was in LA, um, but I was like taking a break, being at home for a bit. Um, but then I ended up getting married um, and my husband's from South Africa. So we were going through immigration. Like, so we just decided to stay here for a bit. And so we were actually mm -hmm. in Arkansas for a year and a half um, going like just throughout that whole process. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, so during that time I played, there's a lot of live music in Northwest Arkansas, which is really awesome. Um, it's like a, the arts are being, are like really thriving here. Um, so lots of restaurants um, will have live music. So that was really cool. I played at a couple of restaurants um, while I was here. I don't know if, 
there weren't any venue. I didn't play any like venue music venue type places, mm-hmm. but um, but yeah, yeah. There's that was that was something that was really surprising to me because I was like not intending to have that. Yeah, and then and then yeah, I was just like everywhere has li- have li- have has live music. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh. That's cool, which was kind of something that I I struggled with at first, too, because I was, like, going into it, I was like, oh, this is not my 45-minute set mm-hmm. at, you know, a venue somewhere. Like, that's yeah. what I was used to in the city. You get 45 minutes. Yeah. Um, you know, this is, like, you get paid, which is awesome, but you're playing for, like, two or three hours. Mm-hmm. Um, so I had to learn, like, and, like, they don't, it wasn't necessarily, like, yes, play your songs, but like definitely have to play covers. The covers, yeah. So it was like learning a million covers and then being background music. So it was like a complete, like, you know, when you play Rockwood in New York, it's usually like silent and people mm-hmm. are there to listen and it's wonderful. Mm-hmm. Um, the sound is beautiful. Like, um, and then you're like the background music of like a, like a bar and grill and you're like, this is, this is different. Um, yeah. And I'm playing, you know, like random covers that I'm like, oh God, I don't even know like what. Um I'm definitely like I am not a musician first. Mm-hmm. I was definitely like a singer that learned how to play to be able to to write and stuff like that. Yeah. So so I don't pick that up easily and like yeah, it was interesting. Yeah, I, same thing with me. Like, I first time I went to, I did um, first couple times I did winery shows, and um, I was used to like when you're done, like it's just completely silent, and then like you just get that like that clap, and you know that's what that the, there for. And then I remember first couple songs just dead silence, and I was like, bro, I suck. What is happening? <laughs> like. I was like, did, am I off or whatever? And then, like, yeah. then like halfway through and then someone came up to me and was like, listen, like, you know, I'm, we're not supposed to, you know, clap or anything like that. Cause it was just like the vibe. And he was like, but I just want to say you're, you're doing a great job. I was like, all right. So they're listening. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> but now I'm almost used to it. Like it, it's kind of like it, I did a show, I think like six months ago at a, at a um, coffee coffee house, a really nice coffee house. And um, like, you can hear a pin drop and I was like, oh, all the pressure's on, this is nice. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, it's, um, it's, uh, it's, it's definitely different, like you said, definitely different. Yeah. I bet winery would be cool though. I think I, I actually did play at a winery here in Arkansas, but it was, it was, <sighs> I'm thinking it was cold because they put me in their like back room Mm -hmm. instead of outside. So I've seen, I've seen people at this place. They put, they have like an outdoor area, which just seems so nice. Like to, you know, to be, I think the the sound, obviously if you you're plugged in, like you have your PA system and whatever, like Mm -hmm. if people, when people are outside, it's not as like the noise isn't as concentrated for you. Yeah. Um, So I, I feel like that would be, that would be nice to like have that kind of environment. Yeah, yeah, you just add to that, you know, that that whole vibe and, you know, everyone's just dressed so nice and, you know, everyone's just, mm. everyone's having a good time. You're not at a bar and someone's like, you know, girlfriend broke up with them and, you know, it's everyone's kind of like in a good mood. Yeah, that, that, yeah nobody, nobody takes someone to a winery to break up. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's a terrible, yeah. it's a terrible idea. Yeah, a horrible <laughs> idea. So That's funny. It's, it's uh, yeah, it's always been smooth, and I've I think me personally, it's always my mission. I've always wanted to just to play at the most beautiful places, and mm. you know, the wineries is just kind of like gives me that opportunity. So, oh, I bet That's awesome. But yeah, that's so you mentioned you're taking a break. Um, you just is this life just kind of getting in, in the way, or you just like nothing's just inspiring you right now, or? Um, um, you know, I, I have, I have been like, yeah, I I think I'm, I've been in the middle of like trying to figure out like, okay, am I, am I going to try to pursue this as a career or is this 
going to be, I hate using the word hobby. I like, cause like to me, I, I'm, I'm past, I feel like I'm past that already. Yeah. But at this, but like also right now, I know I give nowhere near enough time to it. Mm-hmm. Um, and I haven't written in a really, I've been trying to write more. I like took a long break. So after my, I released my album while I was in Arkansas in 2018. Yeah. In 2018. God, that was so long ago already. <laughs> Jesus. I, was, I, was just, I was just listening to I, I I really like I love uh my favorite song is home on on the, oh thanks it's it's really 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 good but uh I I'm sorry continue <laughs> no no yeah but that's like so you know I think I was as weird as it is so I was finishing that album and and that was in the process of me moving out of the city. So I had, I was working in LA for like three weeks, finishing it. And then I came back to Arkansas and, you know, it was getting mixed and mastered and all that business. Mm-hmm. And I was, and I had in my mind, like beforehand, I had done all the research and like, okay, you know, we're doing the whole, like, or I'm doing the whole, like, you know, unsigned, unrepresented, blah, blah, blah. You do it yourself. DIY, bull you know, mm-hmm. um, which is a lot of fun. I, I had so much fun, like learning about that and like doing everything and doing that research. And then, and then I feel like I got into the recording part of it and I did the opposite of what I was told to do, which, you know, is like, they, they tell you to, if whatever your budget is, you know, save half of that for after your album to like, you know, do the proper things. And mm-hmm. I didn't do that. I just like made the album and then, you know, to got to the point where it was like ready to release. And I was just so like, I, that was at the same time that I was getting married. So mm-hmm. trying to get married and then, and even like, we had like a super small intimate thing, not mm-hmm. a big deal, but like still a big deal. Yeah. And still something that just like took up your energy and your time. And like, also like, having a new person in your life is like, Fighting you know, that. Oh yeah. <laughs> I just like, I was, I would like music was just not like, it was the other forefront, but like, it just wasn't, but that's a terrible time to try to release an album. <laughs> like I just like, didn't devote the time that I needed to, to then push it out there. So it was like, um, so I think after I re- did the release and, and we had like a really fun release party here in Arkansas and, you know, I had all these plans to do one in New York and LA and, and, but after, after doing it in Arkansas and then after a couple months later, like, I just was like discouraged, I think. Um, I, th- I think I was just tired and I didn't know what to do. Like, mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, you know, I, I released it but I didn't you get follow that the, of like, now what? Yeah, I was like, I don't know, you know, I didn't do some of the certain things or, you know, like I was not able to put the money into it to like really try to, you know, do like press and like all that. I was like half the time. And I, and I also like, just don't care what one person has to say. Like, I don't think that's going to get me anywhere. Like that's not yeah. going to help. Mm-hmm. It's like, I want people to hear it, but like, what one person says on one blog, like who get like, you know, like that's, it it looks good. And like, and that's the thing I struggle with, like what like looks good versus what actually helps. And like, you know, um, I think that's what we do. The DIY though, is just like, we we were just refuse to kind of play the game. Yeah. And that's the thing. Yeah. I struggle with learning the game and figuring out how to like play it the way I want to. And, and yeah. So anyway, so I don't know. I, so I just got back to the city once we moved, we actually moved back to the city, um, that year. And I kind of just didn't know. I was like, I don't feel, I had so much anxiety around. I actually, no, I did right when we moved back some booker was like, Hey, you want to do like a Christmas show with people? And I was like, great. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Like, and then it was the whole, 
you know, sell this number of tickets. If you don't Uh sell this number of tickets, then like you have to make up for it. And it's Mm -hmm. like, and I, I always have told myself, do not do that. (laughs) Like, but I just did it. I was like, you know what? I can get, you know, 15 people to a show. No problem. Like that shouldn't be a big deal. And then it just became such so much anxiety toward like, okay, like getting those people there or like, you know, and then when you deal with shitty people, like the guy that had organized it was such an asshole and was such a, he was just like, not great. Yeah. (laughs) Not great at all. Um, And, and then it was an okay evening, but I just, afterwards I was like, I do not want to play like this. This yeah. is not what I wanted. This does not make me happy. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I kind of just like wanted to take a step back and, and figure out how I wanted to move forward mm-hmm. in a way that was like going to bring joy to it again and like not fill me with anxiety and, and, you know, like, you know, just be, it, it's just, I, I feel like it, you know, uh, I can, I can play in this beautiful venue mm. And I want to, and you know, when I wanted to release my album there or have like a release for my album in New York, you know, I want to, I want to hire a band to play with me. So it's Mm -hmm. like, okay, well, that means like basically a hundred per person. That's like, you know, so you're like, okay, I'm going to spend about 300 or so, $400 Mm -hmm. to get these people. Hey, Alfonso. Hey, Alfonso. Alfonso. Um, (laughs) Um, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to spend this money to put on this awesome show. It's going to sound awesome. And then three people are, you know, it's like, I, I have such anxiety toward like, you know, New York, everyone's super busy. Everyone has busy lives. And I, I totally understand that. I don't make it to everybody's shows. Yeah. Like, and it's just so, you know, that's one of the great things about playing in those places like bars or wineries. It's like your crowd is built in. Yeah. Like you may be background music, but there's no worry about like having people there. Um, and that was just something that I was like, I don't want to put so much effort into having this awesome show and then not have enough people, you know, come to, to see it, you know? So I I don't know. So that just like, that's, and I, and I also am, am wanting to kind of figure out more of what, what type of music I want to keep playing mm-hmm. or like move forward with. And yeah, just kind of explore that was a long winded version of my break. <laughs> no, I totally, I totally get it. I, I think I'm, I'm on the similar path about like, you know, you know, it, what is, I see a fork in the road that's coming up and just like, which, which lane do I, do I want to take? And um, yeah. yeah, it's, it's kind of, it's, it's super interesting. And um it's funny. I was actually thinking when you mentioned like the Christmas. I I personally hate playing Christmas music. Like oh yeah, I hate it. Like I don't know why. <laughs> like I love listening to it and everything, but I um, I, I something about it is just it just doesn't it just irks me the wrong way. And then I played at a um a hotel I think a couple of years ago, and it was in December. I was like, I don't really play in December because they want me to play Christmas music. I don't play Christmas music. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, oh, no, we just want you to play. You don't have to play any Christmas music. And I, I get there, and there's, like, I, first thing I see is, like, this big-ass Christmas tree just kind of <laughs> with everything. Like, Santa's yeah. there. It's California, so they they, cre- they had, like, a fake snow machine. There's, like, little kids going on Santa's lap. And I was like, oh, okay, can't play any Christmas music, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, How do you not play Christmas music in that setting? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's funny. But, yeah, it's, it's, I think, and that's the thing. It's like once you've been doing it for a couple of years and, you know, especially, okay, so, or at least for me, like doing it, getting into it. Um, and I came, I came to like singer, songwriter and music through theater. I was a musical theater major. That's what I moved to the city to do. Mm-hmm. And, you know, a couple of years into auditioning and being in that environment, I just, I, I actually just like got a piano and I was like, I'm going to try just like 
playing the piano and writing. I, I had played the piano like growing up and everything, but, but doing the, doing it after a couple of years. And then, you know, you, you do your EP, you do your album, you spend, you know, you have so much time and energy and money into it. And like, you get to that point where like either like, you know, you really either take off and if you don't, it's like, okay, well I could continue and like potentially could take off or like, you know, I'm still like, I know like there are like several of my songs um, like in like sync libraries for, you know, going. So it's like, there's always potential for this to, to work out well yeah. and that's totally fine. But it's like, you know, you get to that point where you're like, okay, what, um, I also blame getting married. I love you, husband. <laughs> but you know, like you, you like, I don't know. I feel like also there's, a, you know, as you get older, you, you know, you're just trying to figure out, okay, what, like, where do I want to go? Yeah. What do I want to spend my life doing in a way that's like gonna, I don't know, make sense in a, and not in a settled way, but in like a, I don't know, in a realistic way of like how you choose that you want your life to be, you know? Yeah. I, t I totally hear you. I've been, yeah. <laughs> I was literally just these the past like three or you know, just because of the, the quarantine, you just, you know, you have a lot of time to yourself and you, you just like, and you, you know, those thoughts just kind of pop in your head. Like, where is this going? And you know, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, I think it was, it was weird. I was, I think there was one guy, he was, it was at the D in Chicago and it was like mm -hmm. towards the end. And um, there, there was a, a, a guy who was playing at the, the bar and he was like 70 years old. And I was like, is that what I want? <laughs> yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. But like, do I, yeah, do but I want to keep doing that when I'm 70 years old? And yeah. there's like, and I have no choice but to do it because like, I don't know when my next, you know, meal is or, you know, my next paycheck is. And it's just kind of like those questions yeah. kind of just pop in your head. Yeah. Well, and I mean, too, and that's the thing. I, I feel like we all, we all forget that, like, you know, we can choose what our success means to our mm -hmm. success, our, our, to ourself and what failure means. Like, I think we all, all think like, oh, if I don't make it, or if I don't get to this certain point, you know, like it's a failure yeah and in instead of just like deciding like no i don't want to be doing that like i don't want to be playing in a bar for my paycheck i'm gonna play in a bar for fun yeah but it's gonna be you know it's gonna be i'm gonna do i'm gonna base my livelihood off of my doing lessons music lessons yeah. or what you know whatever but um but yeah, I think that's kind of like where I feel like I either, I, I feel like I'm wanting to actually just get more specific about what I want to do with music. And I always kind of, you know, I told my producer whenever I was making my album, I was like, I really want to gear this toward being able to put it in film and in because um, I knew I was like, I don't think I'm going to make my money. I don't, I'm not going to be touring. Like I want to have a family and a home. I want to be at home. Like I, like I knew yeah. already that that was not, that was not going to be my thing. Um, mm -hmm. But so that's kind of what I was like, I really want to, and I, and I still want to learn more about like kind of or even writing toward gearing toward sync licensing and that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but I, I totally, yeah, totally agree. I was, you know, when, before I moved to, to California, I, um, uh, my wife at the time, she was doing a, she was doing a, um, like, um, uh, it's like the, it's like the Peace Corps, but kind of the, in the U.S. It's called, uh, CalServes. Mm -hmm. And, uh, as a gift, like we, we did, you know, cross country, uh, trip and, you know, I, you know, dropped her off and went back home. And then, so we had like a long distance relationship for like, six months or so before I finally came over here 
and I was like, that's the hard. That was like the hardest thing ever. I was like, imagine just going on tour just constantly. It was like, yeah. I don't. That's just not. Like yeah, it's definitely not for everybody, especially if yeah, you can't bring them along or you know. Yeah, especially if, you know, I'm just trying to think, like, I was thinking about my future, and I was like, I want to have a family one day, so it's kind of like, I, you know, you can't be away from those, the, the kids, but I, I do want to, everyone, all the other musicians who've toured Europe to have told me you have to do it at least once, so oh, yeah. that's kind of, that's always kind of like in the back of my mind, but, yeah, for sure, but, hey, Rock Trish 888, how you doing? Yeah, Trish. And, um, but but other than that, yeah, I just I, I just I just want to stay local and just kind of just create music and mm -hmm. that's that's pretty much it. Yeah, no, no. I'm hoping our we're wanting. I think the next the next music thing for me, mm -hmm. I want to do like or at least I want to. Um, we've been researching like getting a van mm -hmm. and like building out a van, and that's kind of what I was like. That's before I either decide I want to, you know, stop doing music, I, I won't stop doing music, but like, yeah. I definitely want to like tour around the country in mm -hmm. the van. Yeah. And like, I think that would be so much fun. I love, um, do you have so far sounds near you? I, there's one, yeah, I'm, I'm in like the Napa area. There's one in San Francisco, which is like not, not too far as the south there. So there's one I just kind of joined so far and, and yeah hopefully I, you know start doing that too i freaking love them yeah if there's anyone watching check if you have so far in your city i'm such a i'm such a big advocate for them um just i like started going to the shows mm -hmm. um and then i played my first ones with them like last summer and it was so much fun it was so it was exactly like what I wanted playing music live to be, yeah. you know, it was a stress. It was like, I had, I didn't have to worry about people coming. Like yeah. they didn't know who was playing, mm -hmm. you know, um, it was like a short set with three, like two other musicians and just such a, such a welcoming and warm environment. Mm -hmm. And, um, and such cool people, like I like met such cool people. And um, so I'm like, I want to like try to do a so far tour or something. That'd be cool. That would be my, that would be my thing. That would but, be really cool. Yeah. You should definitely, uh, I, it was such a cool, have you been to one of their shows? I haven't been to, to um, one of them yet. Um, but everyone has been telling me like, you gotta, you gotta check it out. It's just kind of, I've done like, I've done house concerts before. So I'm assuming it's, it's mm -hmm. very similar to that. And yeah, so, yeah. So, I mean, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. So I, yeah, so I, I'll probably get the, 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 I'll probably get the same vibe, but yeah, definitely on my list to do. Yeah, yeah. I, that was that was kind of my, my saving grace of like still playing, but mm -hmm. not what, what the first one that I did. I was like, oh, okay. I don't. I I, I still love performing. Like this wasn't. Yeah. This was so much fun and like so nice um, without having like just shitty people or shitty venues or, you know, mm -hmm. playing two hours to people that are drunk, you know, yeah. what? <laughs> well, actually, that's totally fine. Loud and drunk. Loud and drunk. Say. That's yeah. loud and drunk. But um, what was your... Yeah. Do you remember what your first venue was or your first, like, the first time you went out as, like, Alex Fry, the, the, the singer-songwriter? Hmm. Um, yeah. I, um, for some odd reason, I can't remember if I had done open mics. Surely I had. Surely mm -hmm. I'd gone to open mics in the city. Mm -hmm. But I had decided that I wasn't going to play a live show until I released my EP. Oh, okay. Um, so, not, I, I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know anything. Wait, hold on. Um, Rock, Rock Trish, um, I don't think you can do a three-way stream, but if you want to message me or message Alex and we can do another two or we can figure something out, maybe another another time. 
but I'm sorry, go ahead. I didn't even know you could do a two-way thing on here. Um, <laughs> the other, um, oh yeah, so like I got my piano in January. Ooh. I played and wrote you know, for the next six months or whatever. And I decided that I wanted to record them randomly. I was just like, I'm going to record. Let's put it down. And then mm -hmm. recorded like that summer. And like, then I guess it was that I did a birthday show. So it was the next February. So basically a year I had been playing for a year. Mm -hmm. It didn't come up. The request didn't come up. So I don't know if that's on your end, Justin, or... I don't see the request. I don't think we can do a three-way call. Uh, no, nothing. nothing's popping up here. But uh, if it doesn't go through, definitely Rock Trish 88 send me, like, again, send us a message and we'll, you know, we'll set up a, maybe another time or something, yeah. something like that. But, um, so I'm sorry. Where so were you yeah, I, no, yeah, I just I did a so like my release party for my EP was like one of my like my first live shows, and it was at this little um, cafe called the Path Cafe in New York, which closed like a year or two later, which was again like one of those like super cool like they had like their open mics were like thirty five forty people long like yeah it was just you know that was the hub of like it was a newer place but yeah they i guess they went out of business um but yeah i freaking like did a show and i had no idea it was ridiculous um i hadn't been playing for very long and i didn't i it went well it was fine but like i when i look back at that i'm like you probably should have like, played a couple of shows to like practice. And then see, that's, it's such a funny thing. I did like in the very beginning, I just did, which is awesome. I think. Cause like, I think a lot of people are stunted by like fear yeah. of that. I was just mm -hmm. like, oh, oh, well, I'll do it. And now <laughs> I'm like, and now I'm like, um, um, I can't, I can't, no, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like completely reversed. Yeah. But that's awesome. That's that's really awesome. What about you? I don't. I was just trying to think about like, there's there's two occasions that I remember, but I don't remember which one is my first. But the first one I remember, I was playing at a um, Jewish community center. I don't know why. Um, at all. Hello. Like I don't like my my two best friends are Jewish, but like I don't not i don't know maybe they're just like hey there's an open mic you know go out and i i remember i played the first song i played was like one of my songs and it was mm -hmm. out of tune i bombed hard and then uh but then i played john mayer's comfortable and then that got a really um good a good <laughs> response and i actually got a date out of that so that was that ended up nice. being pretty cool and then <laughs> Um, Anytime anyone plays John Mayer, it's just like, huh, what? Huh, what? What? You play John Mayer? Yeah, all right, that's what? that. That works. Um, and then the other time I played at an open mic, and there's a saxophone player there, and he was so, I needed him. Like he, I think he helped out my career so much and my confidence because I was just like, uh, I don't know. And he was like, because I never played with anybody. It was always just like at home, mm -hmm. you know, and and stuff and like whatever I threw at him he was just like oh I got you and then like he just made everything sound so much better and then that just kind of yeah. from there it just kind of took off and um you know but those are the two first times I remember playing um were you playing the guitar I don't know why yeah, I was playing the guitar. the guitar I was my mom bought me a like I like I wanted the guitar since I was nine I begged her and I didn't get my guitar till I was like 13 and uh she was just like here here's a classical guitar and i was like i wanted an electric guitar you know what i mean and then, uh, yeah so i got myself like a cheap electric guitar but then like i wasn't really good at it at the time like i was actually better at the, the acoustic and so that was when you know you were just trying different things but yeah
yeah it's so how long have you been playing like so since you were like 13 since i was 13 yeah i did i think i i think i did something very similar to you i think i i learned my first like five six chords and then i was just like all right let's uh let's give this a whirl because <laughs> yeah but it was also like ever since i was little me like i used to i always loved singing so it was um my when i moved to new um new jersey there was a friend and he also loved singing and we you know that was it was the late 90s early 2000s so that was the boy band era so we <laughs> were like we were like backstreet boys you know boys to bed, that that whole um uh, that whole vibe so we were just like singing harmonies and everything so performing wasn't really like the That's problem fun. So I've been yeah, performing yeah. for, and then, you know, when I was like a kid, I used to love um, Little Richard. So I used to do like Little Richard impressions and, and stuff so like that. So I've always been kind of a, a of a performer in, in one way yeah. or another. But. I guess that's, and I guess that's probably what is the biggest thing for people that are, that are the like more like honed musicians first mm -hmm. is that they, they work so much on their craft Mm -hmm. as opposed to like which like yeah if you're you know singing and and doing like you know I was doing theater like that was like that's what I've always done that was the easy part yeah it's the like <laughs> hitting the right notes and keys <laughs> that was <laughs> that was the hard part that was yeah. the harder part <laughs> mm -hmm. but yeah nice nice yeah so so many like when I look back, I just think about like, so many embarrassing, like cringeworthy moments, <laughs> music-wise. <laughs> I was like, "Oh man, why did I do that?" But you needed to do it to, you know. Yeah, you to grow now, so. and yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. What do you have any um, any like COVID goals, quarantine goals with your music? Um, right now I'm kind of doing a. Um, I haven't decided whether I'm just gonna you know, put it up on social media, but I, I, I kind of was deciding to do like write one song a week and oh, um, nice. just kind of force myself into like trying out just kind of different things. Like I have a, like a chord, um, you know, a chord um, encyclopedia and I was just kind of choose like a random chord and like, all right, here we go. And then, you know, see what oh, happens. That's great. So yeah you know i'm just trying that out and just you know sh vocal training and you know I, i've been learning the the mandolin and um also just kind oh, of cool. like you know just talking to people that i, I haven't gotten a chance to talk to because it's just you know just so busy with life and, and everything so um yeah for sure I, I've, I've always saw that the um I've, I haven't had time to write songs in a really long, like my first album, from my first album to the EP that I just released like last month, it was like, yeah. I think it was like eight years or something since I wrote, like the time just kind oh, of, oh yeah. But it was kind of like your situation. It was kind of like, I got married. I uh, like, I, I was saving up for the honeymoon. I was like, you know, just life kind of hits you. And then my, yeah. my wedding didn't really go that well. So it was kind of like um, there was like a moment where after the wedding, like when I whenever I wanted to write, it was kind of like, um, have you watched Boy Meets World? <laughs> Love Boy Meets World. Um, there's like I just got movie. Disney Plus. <laughs> oh, nice. Well, if, whoever's <laughs> watching, if you haven't seen this episode of Boy Meets World, it was when um, uh, I think it was Matt. He was he was dating this one chick. She was like playing the guitar, and like it was like all nice and sweet. And then like he broke up with her, and she was like, "Shadow." And it was just like dark and like heavy music. And I was just like, I yeah. don't want to put that out there in the world. This is kind of like, but like you know, I got it out of my system, and you know now, yeah, I'm good good music and stuff. So, got you. Yeah, nice. For How about sure. you? Do you have any, you know, this doesn't even have to be even music, you know, COVID goals. Do you have any things that you want to? Yeah, I've, that's what I've been trying to figure out. I'm like, I need to structure this time. Um, I do. I So my my dad for my birthday got me a guitar. 
Um, Cause I had been borrowing a friend's guitar for a real, well, actually not borrowing. She just left it at my place to hold, like to hold on to. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was like, Oh great. Well, like this is a great guitar. Like I don't need to get one cause mm-hmm. I can just use this. Yeah. Um, but I finally returned it to her. And so I was without a guitar for a year and I'm terrible at the guitar. Like I, I love it. My brother is like amazing at it. Um, but I never got the knack for it. I like got my first one when I was like 12 and then I just didn't, I just, it was just too hard. (laughs) It was Mm -hmm. too hard and I gave up. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I like later got the ukulele and was playing that more. And, but I've always come back to the guitar just because it's, something that like it's kind it, it's, it's just natural. so nice yeah like it's it's a beautiful instrument um so i was without one for a long time and then my dad got me one for my birthday this year so i have i have this new little little baby baby oh, taylor right. the taylor uh-huh oh actually no it's not the baby it's the mini it's the mm. mini GS mini thing. Mm. Um, Cause I wanted like a small, a small one for like traveling and stuff. Is um, that a left-handed so version I, or is that like, or is it just the camera flipped? It must've just been the camera. I am not oh. a lefty. Oh, okay. Um, but, but yeah, I need to, my, I, my goal is to, I brought it with me. So I don't have my piano. I don't have my ukulele. I have to play the guitar. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to hopefully, like try to watch some more video, like watch video, like actually put time toward learning more than my like four chords that I do know. <laughs> Five, mm-hmm. six, maybe. But um, yeah, that's, that's my biggest like music goal is to try to like get better at that. And I should be, I, sh- I should make myself right. I need to do that. That's a good idea. One song a week. Yeah. That's I kind of like, idea. I've always felt like my weakest part of of writing would be like, my structure was always kind of like, I write the, the music and then like the melody just comes naturally and then I just kind of fit words that kind of, you know, that, that works in there. But I, I'm trying to switch mm-hmm. it up and just kind of write the lyrics first and then kind of mold everything around that. And it's, it's hard. It's definitely yeah. hard for me, so. I love finding that out. I mean, a lot of, I mean, a lot of people do it like both ways, but like, Mm -hmm. usually everybody has like, I write the music first and then I put lyrics to it or I write the lyrics first because I'm the lyrics first type of person. Okay. Um, Hey, Pickles. Um, But yeah, that's, that's funny. Yeah. It's writing can be hard sometimes, especially like for me, I blame it again. I like, I blame it on being happy. Like, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> I don't have any sad songs to write right now. I'm like yeah, trying to no like sad songs. It's just like too happy. There's no yeah. Everything I'm trying to find like well, empathy so. for your friend. Like yeah. 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 It's, but it, yeah, happy songs are hard to write. Like it is. Upbeat going with um, it's not. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. But, so yeah. it's kind of like you know when. I first got married I like I was just like I was happy and I think I gained like 10 15 pounds I was like where's this pound? I was like oh I'm just happy this is that's just happy weight <laughs> mm-hmm. but yeah yeah that's that's also another goal it's like okay we were just in um so we so my husband's from Cape Town mm-hmm. and um through the the first year of our marriage like we were doing the immigration so he couldn't leave the country mm-hmm. um and um and then we moved back to new york so we were like getting settled in there and so finally we were able to go this past winter to cape town and we spent five weeks there and it was just five weeks of eating and drinking and like it was the best (laughs) that we were both like oh my god we need to do something for our bodies (laughs) because it was like we were just like oh god we just we just had beer and and delicious wine and you know yep i yeah i totally get it i totally get it how did so, you yeah. and your husband meet um in new york he was uh he was visiting one of his best friends that lives in new york mm-hmm. 
um, and his sister that lives in North Carolina. Um, so he was on vacation and just at a bar. Picked That's them, awesome. Picked them up at a bar. <laughs> That's, but, that's awesome yeah. how just fate just, you know. Yeah, super, super random. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy things. What about you? <clears throat> uh, Melissa is uh, fifth grade. But it's, uh, we've, we've been, we were friends for um, a really long time. And um, yeah, she was, it, it, then we started, we pretty much started dating like right after high school. Mm just been together, together ever since so oh wow oh yeah. that's so cool gosh to know someone for so long so long that's crazy yeah <laughs> as i was saying we were just talking we were just saying how like it would if we like we broke up or something like that like going back on dating like i'd be like i don't know you like <laughs> it took me how long many years to get to know this person like yeah know. it's it's just scary i give props to to everyone you know doing that yeah, yeah, D yeah, no, I don't want, yeah, no, never again. <laughs> <laughs> never again do I want to do that. <laughs> don't want to go through that at all. But, <laughs> yep. All right, well, I think, because this yeah. thing can only let us do an hour. Oh, really? Oh, we're coming yeah. up on it. It's coming up on Oh, it hour. is an hour. Yes, and so I don't know if you want to do another set up or we want to try this uh, another time but it's well way. do you want to play a song should you play a song for for everyone or should i play a song um i gotta go get my guitar but yeah i can, I can go <laughs> play it play a song either way or, or or we can do I'll, another, I'll whatever. It another time i'm just i'm in songwriting mode and, uh, okay. i haven't i haven't really i haven't looked I listened to my old, like my the EP, like I think like a couple days ago. And I was like, oh man, sh you know when you just like listen to your old stuff, like I should have did this or I should have done that. <laughs> yeah. Like no, but that's but, so fun. I that's actually what I've started doing in my in my kind of like oh, I don't have I don't I'm not feeling the like writing spurting forth, you know. So yeah. I've been going back at my old songs that I never did anything with, mm -hmm. and like revamping them or like yeah. re kind of figuring out like you know changing it up or just making it better yeah or just replaying them there are songs from my like first ep that i was like i had i like wrote them recorded them played them in my first shows and then never touched them again once i started writing new stuff yeah. it was like they were dead to me yeah um so <laughs> it's like it's kind of fun like going back and like playing the first songs you ever wrote you ever wrote yeah and you're like yeah <laughs> you're like <"Ay." laughs> but then sometimes you know sometimes it's like so some parts are surprisingly like you're like oh that was like that was actually my first good. time like you know yeah. first time doing it so yeah i, I mean anyway. i'm sure if i went back and you know the first song i would probably be proud uh what is my first song called all right the first song i remember really called it's called to the stars that's what it, what it was. To the and, star. That's a yeah, nice. it was very, very boy band poppiest. Yeah, it was very. I think yeah, Melissa loved it, but I don't. I don't even know the chords or anything. But I gotta pull that up and that's see what funny. that sounds like. That's <laughs> it. We should actually, you know, we should make a po we like like a what are the challenges? I haven't done any challenges. A challenge. But we should like have everybody. Challenge. Yes, everybody rat, like sing their first song that they ever wrote. Ooh. That would be hilarious. <laughs> that would be, I'd like that. I'm going to start messaging people, but like everyone play their very first song and we'll see yeah. how, how this goes. That would be awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for like asking me to chat. This has been fun. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I hope that, you know, I want to do more of this and, you know, hopefully that, you know, you caught the bug and you kind of talk to them. Uh, I know, yeah. I wanna... and, and stuff. And, yeah. Yeah, just kind of continue this cool. vibe. I really like it. So, sweet, well, sweet. thank you so much for chatting with me and uh, everyone yeah. listening. Uh, thank you so much and we'll, we'll catch you later. Yeah. You Have a good night. Right. See ya. See ya. I don't know how to cancel this. <laughs> <laughs> I got it here. <laughs>